Hi guys, just a quick update on my Prusa uh, clone. I've been working on it for a few days. Um, I just work on it a little bit every day because, you know, I printed these parts like six months ago and I um, I think I lost some of the parts. So I keep shutting off uh, one of my uh, machines that's printing something else and then I'm printing out parts and then I'm finding out. Uh, so it's been taking me a couple days here. Um, but as far as the kit, it's actually pretty solid. Uh, I don't know about the older YouTube videos I saw. They said they weren't labeled and stuff, but they're labeled really well. Uh, even the hot end, actually, I compared it to the... I actually uh, ordered an original E3D Evo. Um, it's actually very comparable, so I think they did update the kit with a much better clone. But I've decided just to use the original E3D for now. But I'll, I'll definitely test this one out later because I actually need a production. I need to make this into a production machine. Um, and I didn't want to take everything apart. Um, so I just used the... The only thing I changed here is original Evo 3D uh, hot end with the nozzle. Nozzle time! And uh, the fan, everything fit perfect. I used the MK3S Plus guide. All right, guys. So I'm I'm gonna try to see if that will work fine. I've got some random ass colors here. Uh, the only thing missing was the nylon piece, but the fan wires are super thick. So I'm actually skipping the the um, the nylon thingy. I think it'll be fine. It's pretty rigid as it is. Um, yeah, but almost there. Rail's working good. Uh, so far, I don't really see a huge difference between the Perusa. Uh, by the way, I did order a Rat Rig uh, Core 3. I wanted to check it out, but I wanted to. Um, I didn't need a big surface, so I ordered the 200 millimeter version. So I'll build that and compare it and see how fast it is compared to this. Because I'm mainly printing TPU or PETG, especially TPU, I need faster speeds. Um, I've maximized the Prusa, and I've got um, you know custom spool holder and everything. It prints pretty fast, but I've seen on YouTube videos where it prints much much faster. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so I'm almost done with this, and I've also got to work on my Voron. It's just sitting there, and it's halfway, and I've. Just forgot about it for a couple of months. So I got to finish that. But I want to actually do the rat rig first, which will be here probably in a few days. Um, so I'll have updates. I'm really looking for or to the the rat rig uh, frame looks very, very stable um, because it uses thicker uh, parts. So that's going to be really nice. And I'll finish the boron eventually. And we'll do a co speed comparison. Uh, of real production stuff, not like just doing like random ass tests on YouTube, but you know, I'm actually using it to create my own products, um, you know, and, and I want to see if it helps me print those things faster, which is more important than just printing out, okay, I'm just speeding uh, benchies and whatever. Um, they're not very helpful, but if I can print my my products faster, that means I can you know, I instead of using one Perusa machine that takes uh, a day to print something, I can go ahead and use a rat rig or um, boron to print something uh, that takes me six hours, and I can print four times faster, uh, which is the value of uh, the 3D printer. So, Perusas are good workhorse. Um, the only thing I feel like it's missing because it's you know, it, I've really maximized it out, and the, the next step is really to go with uh, Rat Rig or Voron. Yeah, so that's how I feel about it. Have a great day.